Good morning, guys. We are at our last cottage in Clipston. There's Zeb. He's got his backpack ready to go out. I will do a cottage tour probably tomorrow. It's pretty cute. It's the biggest cottage that we've stayed in thus far. Um, we're headed to Market Harborough to look for some things. What are you looking for, Zeb? Uh, we need more ephemera type art and uh, lots of little things. Yeah. We always say we need little things. We actually really need little things. We've been finding lots of big things, lots of higher end items. So today we're specifically looking for small art, tea strainers, things like that. I've got my country living vintage UK magazines for inspiration because we spent a lot of time driving in the car. So let's go. What do you have mapped in? Um, I just have the vintage shop and then we're going to go to High Street. It's shocking it rained last night. Uh, it makes the sunshine all that more important when it does come out. Moss grows on everything here. Like if you wanted to create a mossy arrangement, you could just put it outside. Tiny little road we're driving out. The church is directly across the street and the bells chime on the hour, even at midnight. So completely unrelated, but they have a jewel store and they no longer sell this brand in the States. So I've got to go check it out. We used to sell their clothes. This jacket is from here. It's my favorite. I went with the bunny sweater. I'll have to show you guys later how I style it. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So Market Harborough definitely wins on the cuteness factor. Don't tell the people in Wantage, but it's cuter. And Hungerford had great junk, but this downtown is just darling. Look at all the baskets. I love that this little tiny market sells Le Creuset. Oh, look, this is probably new. They still make the print. So sometimes it's just about getting out on the street, finding things and enjoying the town. And there's some things you can find online. We get asked this question a lot. How do we know where to go? I always search up charity and antique shops. And then when we get into town, you just gotta get your peepers out and start looking. Zeb's not as good at urban navigating, but I can find the store. I like, I found that jewel store, probably how many yards away? It just depends on what you're looking for. <laughs> 200 yards away, I'm like, ooh. Tractor in town. Tra oh, there's a tractor in town. Of course, Zeb would notice the tractor. See, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Just a tractor going in front of the church. Straight to the books this morning. Look, Dictionary of the Bible. It's like two of your favorite things. I know, a dictionary and a Bible. Oh, Zeb, grab that.
on the teapot. There's this with a frog on it. Oh, that's eight pounds. Oh, it's, it's but it looks like it's crystal. It's crystal. It's so yeah. Heavy. Oh yeah. Let's grab that. That's so much for finding small things. <laughs> I think we're gonna grab that teapot. There's this with a frog on it. Oh, that's eight pounds. Oh, it's. it's but it looks like it's crystal. It's crystal. It's so yeah. Heavy. Oh yeah. Let's grab that. That's so much for finding small things. <laughs> What did you get? What's over there? We were looking for little stuff. Oh, yeah. I kind of like that little... chandelier. No. Come on now. That's going to be a hard pop, too. It's awesome. My dear. <laughs> that teapot. little brown bedding. Is Everywhere. it? It's not old. We said we were looking for miniature stuff. I think found we it. found it. You found it. We found it. I kind of like this plate up here. What's it? Is it old? It looks oh, old. We need to pick up. It's two twenty-five. We're trying to get. We need to pick up more red for Christmas. It's not super old. British oak or old nail. Any rate. Got a lot of stuff here. Almost four pounds. Seems high. We'd have to sell it for like twenties. <laughs> They're having a sale today. <laughs> Porcelain tub. Make a pile. You might. So we keep just walking down the way here, down this main one? strip. I can go for 125 US. Yeah, it's I'm doubled. sure you can get it home. All right, I want that one. It'll go just and in I between the frames. The angel. And the bike tire, too? No, not I know there's a lot of things. If we were home, we'd just snag it up. <laughs> all right, I had to make note of all the cool buildings. I think that they have repainted some of them because that's in very good condition for the age. A lot of these English towns really take pride in their heritage, and you can tell. The buildings get pressure washed and cleaned, and signs get repainted. This is a really pretty town. I know I've already said that, but I'm really impressed. Okay, so we went to six, seven shops and you know, it's like, we're kind of cherry picking. We're getting the best things cause we've got to ship them home, but we still filled up three bags. We got some baskets. There's some stuff in the baskets and this really cool mirror. We're headed into the bakery. This is what Jamie came for. <laughs> Cheesecake and tarts. Sometimes you walk up to a place and you're like, is this too fancy for us? Not that there aren't things we don't want in here, but sometimes they're just, when they're displayed nicely, they're a lot more money. Yeah, we'll see what they've got. I think they've got a cheap place in the back. I 
five pounds, eight pounds. These are a good deal. I found <laughs> You wanted a red set, Jamie. I know, I saw those. Is this where the deals are gonna be? Headless Angels. Headless Angels. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Would you look at that up there? I'm gonna have to go look at all these individually. I know you're not super keen on the brass, but that's a big brass pitcher. We've been trying to buy these everywhere and they've just been for display, the ones we've seen. So Helen from Duval Kitchens has one in Bath and it wasn't for sale. And this is actually in better condition. It's 20 pounds, which is a little bit spendy, but I'm gonna keep it so I don't care. I love it. Kid in a candy store over here. What's what about that copper clock? The little tiny alarm clock. I love the books. <laughs> I know, don't you? Don't you love? Them? Hopefully, the people back in the states also get books. Invested in pretty things. So it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Everywhere closes by four or five. So we have two, maybe three hours left of shopping. We're headed into Leches. Let's. Leicester. You might have to spell it. Le Les Chester. We're gonna I don't go think there. It's that. Uh, <laughs> where less is more. Just kidding. Um, and so we're gonna see. They've got a lot of antique stores and charity shops. What I'm noticing is that a lot of the charity shops are priced like antique stores. They have a few gems, but some of them it's like I might as well just. Go you know to that it. antique store that we were just at. It wasn't bad. We found some good things in there. We got probably what like 15 items. But if we lived locally, we might buy more just for us because they had some really good things in there. It just, to ship it, it was too much. We always have to remember size, cost of shipping, how much can we actually mark it out? Because everything has to be at least four to five times, if not 10 times, if it's a large item, to cover like the expense of flying, driving, gas, food, uh, accommodations, a lot of people have asked like is it really advantageous and it really is because we can find things that we cannot find at home and not in large quantities but we also have to make sure that when we get home that things are going to be priced at market value instead of the low market value otherwise we can't afford to continue to keep coming back and bringing stuff over and so far the last few trips we've been able to do well enough that it paid for our trip and it paid for the items and then there was enough profit that made it worth our time right Zeb? Yes. <laughs> he just likes to buy all the stuff. The sun came out. Look who's finishing also the rest of my pizza. This is a really good little pizza. It, like You it, can tell they're using really fresh ingredients, like different than the U.S. I'm not saying that the pizza in the U.S. isn't awesome because I eat a lot of it when I can. That's good pizza. But this is good. So what's the verdict on the eclair? It's good. It's not super sweet, but it's not super doughy either. Like there's a good mix. Not quite flaky like French. The pastry is a little different, but good. So I picked up this milk at the grocery store because English people don't really drink milk with their desserts. They don't have it at the bakery. Um, but worth noting that there are actual dairy boots on the cover, and I'm hoping that's mud and not what I think it is. What did I buy, Zeb? You bought an oil painting of some sheep, pastoral. <laughs> Coming to a decoupage paper near you. <laughs> it's so good. So this is very exciting. We are headed towards Harrington. You can see the sign that's over there. Um, and the entire reason that we came to this area and we stayed in Clipston, because I looked up Harrington and found out that it was a village and I found an Airbnb, Airbnb close to it. So this is 
this town has about 146, or it's not even a town, this parish has about 146 people that live in it. And it's home to a pub that's closed, which I'm sad about, an aviation museum, um, a church, and a World War II memorial. Now this is the ponds here. They terraced the ponds so that they could put water. They think I got treats. And now we have sheep that are eating all the delicious grass. I love that there was a sort of garden, uh, a thousand sheep, whatever, 1200, how many years ago? It was a lot. So like a thousand years ago, this was a terraced garden and the terracing is still here. Red, we gotta go to the right. I like their white and then street signs. So because we went to the cemetery today, we found out that Tolmash, and that is the crest, is related to the Harringtons because the daughter with her last name was Harrington Taylor said that her dad was a Reverend Tolmash. And this is the pub. I wanted to eat there, but it's closed for the week to give their people time off for the holidays. We're waiting on dinner to be done. We have a super successful shopping day. We've got lasagna <laughs> and garlic bread, and then we're gonna be packing. We kind of thought that we didn't buy much, but then we got home and we took it all out. This is probably, what, 12 stores? Maybe 13. It was a lot and an antique market, but you know, you from the thrift stores, we might be getting three or four items. And per, a good one, some of them nothing. Yeah. So my favorite find of the day, this is an original oil painting that's going to go live at my house. It was 85 pounds, the most expensive thing that I've purchased today, or actually other than the, the books that we bought, like the second most expensive thing we purchased on this trip. But more copper jelly molds. These ones will be for sale. I'm, I bought one before that I'm keeping. We've been looking for little things. And I think we successfully found lots of mini items. So super excited about that. Dinner is served. 
We're gonna eat in front of the TV like true Americans, and then we're gonna pack boxes all night. Are you so excited? Pumped. We got a pile of stuff to deal with. Yeah, from the last place too. <laughs> and I'll try to get you guys a cottage tour tomorrow. I said I'd do it today, but I didn't. We need to wait till we have better light. So we are very excited. Well, I am very excited because I have found somebody who seems very sharp and with it, who can possibly package my sink. And I'm wearing a very smart bunny sweater that I picked up at Jules yesterday which is lucky because we had to do laundry and they don't have dryers here. Like nobody has a clothes dryer, not even people with money. Like the people where we're staying, they clearly have money because their house is very nice and they hang dry all their clothes. So two days ago, was it two days ago? Yeah. I did the laundry and all my sweaters and pants still damp, so. Well, it's been cool like in the 50s and raining. Yeah, and they don't have radiant heat in their flooring. That does sometimes help dry it faster. So luckily I picked up this bunny sweater yesterday we're headed into Wantage because we're gonna go to the French market. I was really sad that we were gonna miss it and I felt kind of dumb going an hour and 40 minutes away to where we had just been to go to this market, but we have to stop by Hungerford to pick up my sink anyways. So we're going back to where we've already been and we're gonna pick up my sink, hopefully. We'll let you guys know what happens. Jamie is going to get her first little taste of drive in here. The boxes are too big. The doors won't open all the way in these small spaces. And so all she has to do is reverse it so that I can grab the boxes out. <laughs> it seems silly, but she didn't even want to do it. She's nervous. Okay, so the market was not rained out. It, the French market was there, but what did they have there? It was all just food, like dried sausages, a lot of seafood. Actually. A lot of garlic situation. Well, we're not that far from the ocean here. Yeah. A couple of hours at most. Um, we did drop off our two boxes because we know where the drop off point is in Wantage and we're headed towards Hungerford. So while we didn't find anything other than food at the French market, I did duck into one charity shop and I found some small items that I can just bring home without aggravation. I'm to the point in the trip where I'm like, I only have so much more patience for packaging things and for dealing with UPS. So I picked these up, they're little pill boxes. And this one is Staffordshire. I believe this one is as well. And they're worth about 20 to 22 US dollars. They're little, easy to transport. I love the little forget. I think those are forget me nots inside there. And then this one um, is maybe aluminum, but it's got like this shell that's like hand painted on the top and it's a cobalt blue. This one is actually a little less and I actually think this one is cooler, but things like this I can find. And as long as I can four times my money, then I can spend a little bit more on them because they're easy to ship home. Okay, we're having a pub lunch at the John O'Gaunt Inn. Zeb stretching and making room for his bangers and mash. And I am having a tasteful flatbread lunch.
So I think we're gonna go with this one. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's smaller and more manageable in size. You're gonna have to find a sink drain or modify one to fit it. It's 65 pounds and it's a lot prettier on the edges. Just slightly heavier than a bag of grain. So we're guessing 65 pounds. The size is manageable, not super deep, but for a cottage sink, I think will be handy. I think we're gonna get it. And it doesn't have a drain on it, which actually makes it easier to fit into a box because it's got a nice flat bottom. They've reset since the last time we were here because they've rearranged this. No, they've re they've rearranged the booth. For sure. 1350. I don't know about that duck. I don't know what it is. Okay, so we're back in the hoarder booth. <laughs> and I found a little teapot and a Victorian cheese dish. Seb just broke a goblet, but they said, don't worry about it because it's piled high. I'm going to worry about it. I know. We're like, we'll pay for it. That looks like a quick way to get buried over there. I know. I've already got an injury. If I'm not going to set that one down, I'll be fine. So we've come back to Hungerford because there were too many goodies, even though it was a long drive. And we're making stacks and finding all of our favorite things. So Zeb, how much did we spend again at the Hungerford Arcade? Uh, 313 in pounds, so that's close to $400. So last time we spent almost 500 on the nose. This time we bought everything, including the kitchen sink. We did get a sink. So <laughs> we will definitely film how we package that and let you guys know how it arrives alive. We do have photographic evidence that the first box has arrived back in the States and it's in good condition. So much better than last time. Yeah. What's better than one Cooper, two Coopers? I'm gonna go into Cooper and Cooper. Looks cute. I picked out two and then Zeb bought nine. <laughs> but he's gonna list them this time. Here comes the kitchen sink. One handed. Oh, we'll be able to ship that, no problem though. I'm glad I went with a small one. That one's so pretty. Okay. How many boxes do we have? Uh, four this time, only four. Unless you guys think that it's me, Zeb actually outshopped me here probably two to one. So. Well, she just admitted her ADD kicks in and she gets like over it. Like she's like, oh, I don't know. And in my mind, I'm like tallying everything that she grabs and I grab. I was only 13 pounds off on what I thought this was going to cost us. Yeah, and I had no idea. I was like, please don't be a thousand. <laughs> so the day is winding down. It's 3.30. It's crazy to me how quickly the day ends. But it's good because... We would just shop all day and then we would never have time to pack. So it forces us to really stop, pack, eat, all those things. We're gonna head into an interior shop. I'm not thinking I'll find anything I wanna purchase, but there's a lot of really good high-end stylist and like interior designers here. And so I like to take the opportunity to see how they stage things, see what they're buying, how they're using it. And then that way I can take that information in my little brain when I go back home and it helps me design better because I'm still learning how to put, I know what I like, but it's hard to pull it all together. And it also gives Zeb an idea of what to buy too, because he's also learning. At the end of the day, I'm just a dude. You're just a dude, but you're cute. <laughs> This is like going to Round Top. I don't want to get my bun caught in that, that is for sure. How much? Oh, that's pretty. How much is that? 
150 Swedish Mora clock. That is not a Mora clock. It's, it could be Swedish, but it's not Mora. It's because a lot of people think all Swedish clocks are Mora. And it's actually based off of where they're made. Each area has their own distinct style and the whole village does the clocks. Or did the clocks. Now that is cool. I like that horse, of course. Zeb likes the papers and the cloches. Well, did you see the ones on the other side? Mm, I probably did. So I just found a floral painting that I like. It's 1350 pounds. And what did you tell me, Zeb? Put your hands in your pockets. <laughs> Put my hands in my pockets. Stop touching things. Okay, okay, don't kick anything. I don't think there's gonna be anything for me here. What do we say about keep your hands in your pockets? How much is it? Oh, there it's 320. 320, that's actually reasonable for that. It's probably worth 320 just in weight. Look, I'm wearing my bunny sweater. I know I showed you guys earlier, but I just love it. I kind of want to go back and get another bunny sweater in case this bunny sweater wears out. This is kind of a fun bohemian booth. I was noticing their enamel wear. Uh, Debbie carries some similar to this. I don't know if she has the pictures. Look at the source. Samarkand Design, 28 pounds. That's not bad. I mean, it's mass produced, but that'd be cute, especially in Debbie's shop. Block print napkins. Those are cool. So Odelia has a very similar mirror. Not quite as large in her room. I think I paid maybe 60 or $80 for it. And she, she's always kind of like complaining about it. And I'm going to hopefully she'll watch this. French, uh, I can't even read that. Something mirror, 1950. So I feel like she should, she should be happy to have that kind of a mirror in her room. Look how pretty that is. You'll notice all of these booths are full of art. That's why Zeb and I have been finding as much art as possible. Oh, look at that mirror. Because homes need art. The, the signs that have words on them are headed out and art is coming on in. Look at those owl clock. Those owl lamps are cute. Zeb's taking peeks at all the paint finishes. We're at the B&Q, and Jamie's totally distracted over here by the linens. Leave the textiles alone. Solid. We're here for packaging supplies. Solid curtains. Squirrel. Now we're looking at wallpaper. It's like oh, it's wallpaper. fabric. Um, That's wild. It's like bougie wallpaper. Do they have any sheets of foam? Oh, look, right there, Jamie. What do you need that for? So you can take these and you put these on the edge of your frame and stuff. Let's just get this. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. I need like just one sheet. I know, not 70 pounds worth. Yeah. These are not pool noodles, they're pipe insulation. We're they sell them back in the States too. We're gonna cut them and we're going to put bumpers essentially all the way around the sink. We could just do like wrap it in plastic and then spray foam all around it. You can also do that. I've heard of that. Expanding foam. You like put the. Now she's thinking about it. Look at the wow. wheels turning. 100 pounds later of shipping supplies, but she assures me that this sink is worth $1,000 at home and we well, must make it ride for live. It's a smaller sink, but it's more detailed, so maybe like. But I plan on, like, as we unpackage stuff, we're gonna be at I'm this gonna point. All this at this point, by the time we box it up, pay for shipping, we're gonna be about four hundred dollars into this sink. I don't think so. We'll see. I think it's heavier than it looks. Back at the cottage, Zeb has made French toast. I've done the dishes and put laundry up. We're gonna eat dinner and pack the sink. I will put the packing of the sink on the next video. 
and I will try at the end of this video to remember to film in the morning at the cottage so you guys can get a cottage tour and maybe some of the items that we purchased today. If those don't make it on today's video, they'll be on the last and next video that'll probably go out like Monday. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to J. Mary Vintage for more. DIY. I'm still making the bed. Yeah. We, we only made it for the video though, let's be honest. Yeah, I was making the bed on vacation. Not us. Sorry, the lighting's not great because it's still not super bright outside, but there you go. Ta-da! Ta trying to make a bed. Sub made the bed. You did a very good, it's actually better than when we came, so good job.